Eurodynamics is a very specialized study for us to really evaluate the bladder dynamics and the bladder function. Eurodynamics consists of two major components. The first component is to look at the bladder filling with the cycle of the urine and liquid going into the bladder and look at the pressure and volume relationship. The second component will be looking at the sphincter electric activities during this whole phase of filling and emptying bladder. It is a really tremendously helpful for urologists in a way that we don't get these functional data anywhere else. Basically by looking at the relationship with the pressure monitoring, volume monitoring, and electric activity monitoring, we can really get down to the detail of how bladder function comparing to other peer and individuals. In urodynamics, urologists are there as multiple different roles. The first role is to help the nurses and our staff to make sure that our calibration and is very normal and, and well calibrated for the study to reduce the noises. The second will be the interpretation. By closely observing and interacting with the patient and family, we can really get quality details about your dynamics results and studies. There could be many, many. It could be ranging from it's just a little bit of bladder discomfort, urgency, frequency, ranges all the way to frequent accidents, incontinence, bladder pain infections, and blood and urine, even kidney infections that cause high fever. So there are a vast variety of different symptoms, and that's why your dynamics is very, very helpful for us to do and investigate the detail of the pathology and mechanisms. It could mainly from two different possibilities. One, a majority of our referral coming from our neurosurgery colleagues. They have a suspicion for spinal cord abnormalities. Those are one source of referral to urodynamic testing. The other source is our urology colleagues, that when we suspect a bladder function or dysfunction for the bladder, those are the times that we want to do the bladder functional evaluation for the dynamics to learn about the bladder. It is a pretty involved testing, so do involve to spend at least two to three hours with our urodynamic staff. We will have catheter into different area, including the bladder and the rectum to get the proper pressure measurement, as well as a possible electric probe to look at the electric activities for the urinary sphincter, which is the outlet. It is a very, very valuable test. Obviously, it is not a trivial decision to go ahead with a urodynamic testing, but whenever we do, we often find it super helpful for the families and clinicians to make follow-up plans and determine the next steps. So it is really essential in our service, and we're happy that we can provide a wide variety for our different individuals in the BCH. Because there are so many different mechanisms, by looking at these pressure volume relationship as well as electric activities, we can obtain a very rich information regarding the possible mechanisms for these presentations. And by dissecting these mechanisms, then we can tailor-made a treatment plan for each individual. <laughs>